Well, welcome to Doorway to the Paintings. Got another episode for you tonight and another interesting painting. This is one of my favorite paintings and uh, it's really interesting. I really like doing these types of paintings. It's one of my latest paintings and uh, let's get ready for the adventure. Let's go on this ride together tonight and take a look at it. Yeah, this painting I did maybe one year ago and a half, maybe one and a half years ago. I really like it. It might seem to be jaded uh, in some people's minds, but whether that's the case or not, which it probably is a little bit, I really like it. See the water? There's kind of like a little whirlpool in the water, maybe taking somebody to the underworld. Pretty interesting there. Just go in like I do my openings, <laughs> just like the opening to the videos. And you got these characters here. Again, that classic kind of style that I have, kind of a ancient Greek or Roman wardrobe there maybe mixed with some like druid type looking characters i like mixing the ancient stuff in there with the modern like these buildings i i really love giving people a hint or uh, a faded looking building in the background i think it looks kind of creepy a little scary and mysterious really like that as you go deep into one of the windows. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. And then the lightning. Yeah, I like how the lightning comes down in both directions. And then the tree, again, there it's lit up a little bit by this lightning on the left. You can see this tree here kind of illuminated from this lightning bolt coming down. I love the lightning in the background. And then you have the two buildings on either side of the lightning in the background here. And I love how it's just kind of a dark gray look to these buildings with the windows. I think it makes it look more creepy. And then of course you have the columns here. And this other building with the windows. Maybe Nosferatu the vampire can creep or peek through one of these windows just watching. Be interesting. Yeah, as far as these guys go here and the lightning and then I imagine it's uh, maybe raining a little bit although I didn't really put rain in this painting. Again, I'm inspired by Halloween 1 when they were in the hospital still on the hospital grounds in part one where Donald Pleasance was going to pick up Michael and he'd already broken out and you see them wandering around in the courtyard of the hospital out on the grass I thought that was really cool looking a little scary and just something about it inspired me and you can see how there's so many of them and it fades off into the distance Take a look at that there. I backed up once again for the full view of the painting. Got a little bit of my bed here on the side, which fits since it's kind of a nighttime oriented storytelling dreamy type show that I have here. So it's only fitting that I put the, bain the, the painting on the bed where all the dreams or nightmares take place at night. <laughs> Perfect fit. And, uh, and of course you have the water being illuminated by the lightning in the sky. And then you have a bridge here with steps. So you can cross from one side of this river 
to the next. It's not the river Styx, but once you get here, you might be confused because it looks a little dark. <laughs> and, uh, of course, I really love the vines. As usual, I put vines in a lot of my paintings. You have it wrapped around this railing here and coming back down. And then over here, you have a vine leaves hanging into the water. And you can see the little white part of the water where the it's actually going into the water. The white's probably a little too big there, but this character, I wanted him to have kind of a, uh, yeah, kind of a jaded look, but also kind of a look like he's, he's thinking about something, and uh, he looks windy. He's, he's expressive. I didn't want this to be too realistic. I wanted it to be more of an impressionable piece, um, even though it does have reality mixed in there with it, like the branches of the trees and then the leaves, the foliage looks real, pretty real. And then this part here with the tree, I'll move it in the light a little bit more so you can see the, the foliage here. And then I like how there's leaves around the tree trunk and how you have more vines coming down, foliage and leaves coming down from the actual tree and hanging down here onto the ground. You can see it kind of spread out near the grass. Then you have the mist, a <laughs> mist and some bubbles around where I put the kind of the uh, whirlpool here. It's almost like it goes into the underworld, into the depths, into Hades or Sheol or Tartarus, uh, Tartaros, Tartarus. There's different pronunciations. But uh, it's just these thoughts go through my mind when I'm painting these paintings. So I'm just kind of taking you along with me. But I love this part. It adds mysteriousness to the painting. I really like that. And take a look at this tree here. I like this tree. I like how it kind of bends over here. It's, it's not because of the wind, but I gave it that kind of look almost as if it were bending in the wind. But it's it's just the way it's shaped. Again, gosh, I like those buildings. It's almost like Nosferatu, the vampire, could be looking through there. Although my favorite, or one of my favorite vampire movies uh, is uh, Nosferatu, the old German film where Max Schreck played Count Orlock. Really a great movie. Silent movie but yeah he could be peeking out through there mostly this was inspired though by a Halloween the Halloween movies and how Dean uh, Cundy did his photography and and then how John Carpenter makes his movies and really had an effect on me and, and this part here with the mist though I have to say maybe Nightmare on Elm Street a little bit especially part one where Heather Langenkamp is walking through the neighborhood in the dream. And uh, gosh, she always does a good job. And then, of course, Robert Englund was so awesome in that movie, directed by a master, Wes Craven. But the mist here, I think some of the mist in that movie that appeared or, you know, I think it was a, it was lighter mist than this, but certain parts really inspired me. And it doesn't take much to inspire me. Uh, if it's done the right way, if it's done in the way I like it, it can inspire me a lot. But then again, it could be something exactly the same, but if it's not done in a way I like it, it might not inspire me. But that was done so perfect. That was a major inspiration on a lot of my art. And I was just going to say, out of all the lightning in this painting. I'll kind of rank it here. The lightning I like the best is probably right here. This, These thin 
lightning bolts in the background I think I like more than all of them just because of how they look they look so cool and then after that I'll choose these here and then finally this big thick one but I really like this one in the background here right next to that building and right above these characters that alone would make a good painting just where I'm making the circle here just right here with this structure gray structure on the right with just these people gee I like how that looks really like that yeah I hope this doesn't give you nightmares before you go to sleep tonight <laughs> no just kidding um, no I really don't want you to have nightmares I want this show to be a pleasant kind of spooky scary show pleasant to watch perhaps fall asleep too but please watch the whole thing <laughs> but yeah I can smell the spring air <laughs> but yeah I love that I really love the foliage mixed in with the the structures and these ancient Greek or Roman type pillars and then you got the water here kind of flowing and then this taken somebody down perhaps there's another vine hanging down from right here into the water which I think is really cool adds a nice effect and just take a little closer look at that vine hanging down into the water and then as you go over here and walk up here and across this this bridge, which I thought it was a nice touch over the, the dark water, the black water there, the river, and you walk across it, and you go into that building. Hmm. And of course it leads all the way up. It's multiple stories. and I wanted to make the buildings look unstable, almost like it's a symbol of a society about to collapse. Or in the midst of collapsing already and and uh, yeah this dark background I think the dark black background really helps things stand out I love that building there the trees mixed in you got leaves see leaves are falling then you got extra characters back there in their white robes almost look like druids I'll zoom out here a little bit. Yeah, it's one of my favorite paintings. A lot of people might find it boring, but I find it charming, frankly. <laughs> I think it's a beautiful painting. <laughs> I know it's a little creepy. But it kind of is a good representation of my mindset at the time I painted it, that's for sure. And uh, I hope you like looking at this painting late at night, wherever your abode is watching this video late at night. Hopefully it's cool, because if it's cool, it's fitting. And uh, I hope you like this video, and if you do, please like and subscribe if you feel like it. And I'll be back soon with another video when it's late at night. At least that's the plan. So take care, everybody, and have a good night and sleep tight.